you can tell, we are doing a foundation declutter. It is obviously way too out of hand. I need to get rid of so many of these. So we're just going to start jumping in and start decluttering. Whatever I am getting rid of, I'm going to pass on to friends or I may just toss it because some of this stuff probably is pretty old. So let's start the declutter without any further ado. As a makeup reviewer, I'm often sent multiple shades in foundation. So as I do the declutter, I'm kind of just going to go through formula wise and pull them out that way. So this one here is from KVD Vegan Beauty. These still have Kat Find D writing on them though. This is the Locket foundation. I really didn't care much for this one. I feel like it was really thick on the skin, way too full coverage for me. And obviously it's pretty old if it's still in this packaging. So I'm going to toss these. Next I have the Lancome Tinty Dull Ultra Wear foundation. I have four different shades. I obviously do not need that many shades of this. I do really like it. I think it's a great foundation, but just looking at these, I know that there are a few of them I can get rid of. This one here is the shade Ivory Warm. I know that this one is way too light for me even in the winter months, so I'm going to declutter that one. And then part of me wants to get rid of this deeper shade. This one is 280 Bisque White or Bisque Warm, but I feel like this summer I got really, really tan. So I don't want to get rid of all of my tan foundations because I know I might need them. So I'll keep that one and then let's just go between these two here, let's see the names. We have a warm and a neutral. Um, I think I'm gonna lean towards, towards keeping, let's just keep all three of them because I know I do really like this foundation and I do like having a few different shade options. I'm not doing great, but I'm just gonna declutter the one. Then from The Ordinary, I have their two foundations. I don't even think they make these anymore, but we have the Serum Foundation, which I do really, really like. And then we have this one as well, which is just a coverage foundation. I think this one's a little bit more full coverage. Um, I remember really liking the Serum one. I honestly have used a lot in this one. I'd like to just use it up because I did really like it. So I think I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to toss this one. I have a few from Doll 10. I know that I do like the Doll Skin Foundation. I think it's really pretty on the skin. The shade that I have is light medium and that. This one is their T. CE, which is meant to be a very full coverage foundation like this covers everything and I personally just don't like foundations like that I think they're too heavy on my skin so I'm going to declutter this one and keep this one here's another one that I have so many different shades in I know that Maybelline knew I loved this so I feel like they sent me a lot of shades but I yeah this is a lot <laughs> so let's kind of work through these so we have a few of the dewy and smooth and then we also have some of the matte and poreless both of these formulas are incredible probably one of my favorite drugstore foundations so love them but but I do not need this many shades. They're not even that old because I know they sent them to me not that long ago, but I just don't need this many shades. So I know this one for sure, I feel like it's really deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. And then let's see between the other ones. I feel like the dewy and smooth. I think these are the same shade. Yes, they are both 120, which I think is my typical shade in this foundation. Let's see what this one is, 220. And then this other one is 128 and the last one is 118 so let's go ahead and get rid of 118 as well because that one's a little bit lighter than the rest of them and we'll see here I think I don't need two of these because I'm not probably going to use two of the foundations so I'll get rid of one of the other ones and then I'll just keep three total shades of this I know this one is super old from Pure. I've had it forever and it's not my favorite formula. I feel like it's a little bit too thick for me, so I'm gonna declutter that one. Another one I know I'm good to declutter is this other one from Maybelline. This I just did not like. It's the Whipped Matte Foundation. This one is just like, it was bad. It was all slippery on my skin. It just had hardly any coverage to it, almost too much coverage at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. Besides, it was terrible. This is going in the trash because I feel like nobody, I don't even wanna give this to anybody because it's that bad. From Soul Body, we have their foundation. This is just <laughs> crazy. These are the largest foundation bottles like ever. So this is a face and body. So I have the shade Fair 2 and then also Fair 4. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep the Fair 2 shade. I'll get rid of the Fair 4. I know I have a lot of shades in my Too Faced Born This Way, but this is one of my favorite foundations. So I think I'm probably going to keep all of these. Warm Beige worked for me last summer, so I'm going to keep that. We have Light Beige and then also the shade Nude, which I can kind of rotate between these two. I also have the shade Vanilla, which I think I actually used up, but I'm going to keep all three of these because it is one of my favorites and I do rotate through these shades. Another one I know I'm going to keep all these shades in is the NARS foundation. This is their soft matte complete foundation. Again, one of my favorites. I really love this one, especially in the summertime. I think it's very beautiful on the skin. So I have a few deeper shades and then a lighter shade for the winter months. So I'm going to keep all three of these. I have this one from Florence by Mills. I am going to keep this just because I do like to have it on hand for Florence videos. I tend to do a lot of dedicated videos since I know that you guys really enjoy them, but um, it's not my favorite. It's just a very light skin tint. It barely gives any coverage, but I do like to keep it. So I'm 
gonna throw that in my keep pile. I do have this one here from CoverGirl. This is their Simply Ageless um, Olay Foundation. This one is actually pretty nice. It looks really beautiful on the skin, but I, if I'm being honest, I don't really reach for balms like this. Um, although I feel like it looks really nice on the skin and it was a pretty foundation, I feel like I just never reach into this one, so I will get rid of that. Elf's Foundation, I am gonna keep this one. It's a nice option if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable. This is a $6 foundation and I think it's great. This is their Flawless Finish Foundation, so I'm gonna keep that. This is the Sheer Glow Foundation from NARS. I don't even know if they make this anymore. Um, I feel like I wanna keep it because I do really like it. It's in the shade Duvel, which is my perfect shade, but I feel like they don't, I don't know, because they have the new foundation now that I feel like this is like, the new foundation was like the replacement for this one. Here it is over here. This one is called the Light Reflecting Foundation, but I still like this one. I still think it's a good one. Um, let's just keep it. I'm just going to keep it. I feel like I want to want it in my collection. So let's keep that. And then for the light reflecting one, I know I have quite a few shades because I was sent this in PR. So like I said, Duvel or Duvet, Duvel, I think is how you say it is the perfect shade for me. So I think I have a few different colors here. So let's see, this is Santa Fe, which works for me in the summertime. So I am going to keep that one. This is really pretty too, by the way. I didn't know if I mentioned that, but I do really like this one as well. And then I have Vienna and then I have Duvel. So obviously Duvel I'm keeping because that is my shade. And then Vienna, I feel like I can make work for me too. I know I use this quite a bit. Um, heck, I'm just going to keep it. I know I'm like taking way too many shades in these foundations, but I'm one of those people. I know some people like to like mix their foundations. I'm not a mixing girly. I don't like to mix up my shades. I don't know what it is, but I just want to go in with a foundation and know it's going to match. So that's why I do keep a lot of different shades in foundations just so I can have a shade at any point because I never know <laughs> how I'm going to be. Um, this one I am going to get rid of though from Too Faced. This is their matte foundation. I just don't care for this. Uh, I just feel like it's not my favorite formula. I much prefer their Born This Way um, original foundation. This one, it just, it doesn't do it. It's too matte almost for me. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I have this Studio AOA one. I remember this being a nice foundation. It's satin, but I don't feel like I need it, so I'm going to get rid of that. I have some over here from Flower Beauty. So let's see. I have two of their Get Real Serum foundations. So I have the shade Porcelain and then Ivory. So let's actually get rid of the Porcelain shade, and then I'll keep the Ivory. These need to be shaken up, but it is a nice formula. It gives a nice, like, radiant look to the skin, um, and I really do like it. I just haven't reached for it in a while. So I'm going to get rid of um, the lighter shade and keep the deeper one. I did like this one a lot from Physicians Formula. This is their Silk Elixir Foundation. But I've had this for a while, so I feel like it probably is pretty old. It looks kind of gross in there, so I'm going to declutter that. The same thing with this Smashbox one. I know I've had this for way too long, so this needs to be thrown out too. I'm also going to throw out this No Filter from ColourPop. This is absolutely the wrong shade for me, and I really just don't care for this foundation. It's just not my favorite formula, so I don't think I need to keep it in my collection. From Wet n Wild, I have their foundation. So I have the Dewy one and then the Original one. I think I'm going to keep the dewy and I'm going to get rid of the original. I do prefer the dewy compared to this one and I feel like I just don't need both of them. This one that I have had for so long. Again, it's like really old. I've used almost this entire bottle. This one as well, the infallible. This one is almost gone too, but I really like these. I think they're a great drugstore option. So this one says 02 of 20. So yeah, this is from 2020. So it's like three years old at this point. I'm definitely going to throw that one away. That's when it expires. So that means I've had it even longer than that. So those will be going in the trash from Pure Lease. This is one of my favorite foundations. I absolutely love this. This is their Ageless Serum BB Cream. I absolutely adore these foundations. I have quite a few different ones. There are a few to the line. So this one is the um, glowy one. Then we have the Youthful Glow. And then there also is this one, which is the Radiant Glow. And then they also have a original one as well. I'm keeping all of these. I absolutely love them. One of my favorite foundations I own. It's really Really natural coverage. All of them kind of offer a different look to the skin, but they're all beautiful on the skin. I am also an affiliate with Pure Lease. I always mention my coupon code because it is 30% off. So if you ever want to purchase anything from them, use my coupon code. It's just Makeup Molly and it will save you some money there, but love these ones from them. Speaking of favorite foundations, great option from the drugstore. This is probably my favorite drugstore foundation I own. I, I'm going to say that a few times because I have a lot of drugstore favorites, but this one is great. They're both the shade 420, which is my shade. I'm actually going to keep both of these because I absolutely love this foundation. That is why I have two of them because I wear it nonstop. I went through multiple bottles of that. And then I have a bunch of these ones from Lorac. I'm going to share those next. I have quite a few 
I feel like shades. There's probably some more floating around here somewhere, but this one is really nice. It's their Pro Soft Focus Longwear Foundation. I don't even know if they still like make this. I feel like they do. I know they sold it at Ulta at one point, but the Rocks Up brand I don't really hear a lot from, but it's a really great foundation. If you can ever try it, I do recommend it. it looks like I have one that is still in the packaging here in shade light, and then the other ones I have are shade medium, and then I also have five light and eight medium is that one. So um, let's see. I don't think I need to keep the, I think light is the one that I was using. So I'll keep that one. I don't know if I need this other one here. Uh, so I'll declutter that one and then I'll just keep this deeper shade for the summer as well. So I'll keep two. I have two shades in the Hydromediac from Urban Decay. I know that this one is too light for me. This is 20 fair and then I also have 30 light. The fair shade I know is like really light on me and I never like the way my skin looks with this. So I'm going to keep the deeper one. I'll get rid of this one. These stick foundations from Wet n Wild. I've had these so long. I feel like they have to be expired. I did like them when I used them. I just feel like I never got enough use out of them. So I am going to throw those in the trash. This is the last foundation I've tried from Wet n Wild. And I really like this one. It's their tinted hydrator. I've used this quite a bit it's like pretty pretty used in this one so I am going to keep it the shade that I have is the shade light and it's called Claire I really really like this formula next up I have this one from Joa Beauty you can find them at CVS this is the natural finish foundation drop really really love this one I think it's a great option I know that I don't need the shade it's the shade porcelain I know that one's too light for me and then I have the shades ivory and then also the shade classic ivory I'm going to keep both of these I know ivory is the one I've been currently using but I know that I can use the deeper shade in the summer too so I'm gonna hold on to those let's do a few tinted moisturizers I have this one from Laura Mercier I am gonna keep this I do enjoy it I also have this one from the brand Sade this is their slip tint I'm also going to keep that it looks like I have two shades in that let's see I have the shade three and three and a half um let's go ahead and keep the shade three and a half I'll get rid of the shade three it looks like I have another one of those Laura Mercier's I am going to keep that one as well because I do really like that foundation um let's do my Giorgio Armani up next love 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 this one I think it's so so beautiful on the skin I'm definitely going to keep it from Zueva their foundation this I really did enjoy I really like the coverage on it I think it's nice but look at how like gross it is it's like so separated in there so I am going to throw this one out just because I think it's pretty old I know I bought this one at the same time as the Zueva because I was kind of comparing the two so I'm gonna get rid of this one I also think it's pretty light for me too this is 130 neutral from Anastasia so I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one as well from rare beauty I have her tinted moisturizer this is the positive light moisturizer I am going to keep that I do enjoy it Another one from Giorgio Armani. This is the Neo Nude um, Natural Glow Foundation. I have two different shades in this. I have 4.5 and also 5. I am going to keep the 4.5 and I'm going to get rid of the 5 shade. From the brand Joa, I also have their Crystal Glow Tinted Illuminator. This I've had for a while. I feel like I need to go ahead and throw that out, but it is a nice product if you ever can try it out. It's like a tinted, more of like a tinted luminizer. It looks really pretty under foundation or even on top, but I'm going to toss that. And then from NARS, I have also their Natural natural radiant foundation in the shade Duvel. I'm also going to keep that one to have on hand as well. Um, let's see. Let's grab some of my Huda Beauty. This is her um, luminous faux filter foundation. I have the shade shortbread. I do like this. I think it's really pretty. I have a full review on this on my channel. If you want to check it out, I like this a lot. So I will keep that from Winky Lux. I did not like this foundation. I feel like it's, it's just not cute. <laughs> this is the um, white tea tinted veil. I just, I don't like that one. So we're going to get rid of that. I did mention this foundation in my best of beauty for the year. This is from Yensa. Highly, highly recommend this one. So, so pretty on the skin. It gives a nice natural finish with just looking so radiant, pretty, but not overly radiant super great um this is also the sister brand to pre-release so i do have also a 30 percent off coupon code for yensa as well it's just makeup molly again and that will save you 30 percent. so i'm going to keep both of these shades the light and the medium shade and i like to have them both on hand this is the newest foundation from lancome i don't know what happened to this lid i'll have to find that but i have the shade 30 305 neutral and then i also have the shade 245 cool um let's keep the neutral shade i'm going to get rid of this cool one because i remember putting on it was way too cool for me and way too deep so I'm gonna get rid of that one we'll keep this other one from Seattle London I do have their dewy skin tint I didn't 100% care for this I feel like it wasn't my favorite but I do want to keep it on hand just to have in case I ever need it for a Seattle video so um I'm gonna get rid of the 20 shade I'll keep the 30 shade it's not bad it's just not like a tippy top favorite for me let's pull out these uh Catrice foundations next because I know I have 
so many of these because they sent over a ginormous PR package. Like I got so many different shades of them. So let's see, where are they all? So I guess I only had four of them. I say only, but that's a lot, but I thought I had more. Uh, I think I'm going to just keep most of these because I do really like this foundation, but I want to get rid of at least one. So let's get rid of this shade here, which is Cool Nude. And then I feel like I'm debating between these two. This is Cool Chai and also Cool Almond. Um, let's get rid of Cool Chai too. So I'll keep these two and I'll get rid of two. I'm pretty sure for like a solid six months, this was the only foundation I wore. I love this one from Maybelline. I think it's beautiful. This is the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. These are all, or they're not the same shade. This is 30 and this is 20. Um, two 30s and two 20s. I'm going to keep these and here's another one actually. This is another 30. So you know what? I'm just going to keep all of them because this is probably my like second favorite foundation. I know I keep saying that, but it's so beautiful and I use it like crazy. I don't need to keep these, but I will. I'm going to keep them anyway. So I feel like I'm doing okay. I could be doing better, but I feel like I'm doing, I'm doing okay. I am going to get rid of this one from CoverGirl. I feel like I've had this one forever. I remember really loving it and I feel like I used a lot of it, but you can tell it's pretty, it's pretty gross there if you look close. So I'm going to toss that one. I am going to keep this one here from Physicians Formula. This one looks really pretty on the skin. I don't have a ton from the brand, so I do want to keep that one to have. Let's go through and get rid of some more. So I have some more skin tints here. So I have a few from Milani and this one also from Lancome. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the Lancome. This is one that I don't reach for a ton and I feel like I don't really need it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And then from Milani, um, I'm just going to keep one of these. So let's actually keep the light to medium shade because I feel like this is something I'm going to want to reach for more in the summertime. And I'll get rid of this other one here. I'll probably give that to my sister because I know she loves that foundation. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Some from Makeup Revolution. This is their Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I have the shade F5.7. And this one, I feel like I have another shade over here, actually. Um, F5.7. So, oh, this is the, uh, I forgot. They came out with like two of these. I was like, why do I have the same shade? Uh, this is the Radiant Foundation, and then we have the regular full coverage one. This is what I was confused about because I remember liking one of them, but not the other. So I don't really care for the matte one. I know I like the radiant one. So let's get rid of the matte. We'll keep the radiant. Next, let's do these ones from It Cosmetics. So I have the Nude Glow, which I do really like. This is their newest CC cream. And then I also have the original one. And then I have the Your Skin But Better. I prefer the Your Skin But Better. It's probably my favorite out of the three. I do, however, like the Nude Glow. Um, the original is just not my favorite. So I am going to get rid of the original. I'll keep these two. I really love this one from Beauty Blender. It was, I think, my favorite last year, My Best of Beauties, because I think it's such a pretty foundation. I don't really hear a lot of people talking about it, but really, really nice. So I'm going to keep that one. I think I am, however, going to get rid of these two. I was kind of looking at them. It's a pretty foundation, you guys. This is their Bounce Foundation. But, like, I never use these simply because the packaging is just gross, and I just I just feel like, ugh, I don't know. I feel like I don't use it because of the packaging. They're honestly probably expired as well. So we're going to get rid of those. This is the foundation from Kosas up next. Shade isn't the best for me, but I can make it work. Um, I'm going to keep it just because I want to have something on hand from the brands, but I feel like the shade could be better for me, but it's okay. Let's do this one up next from L'Oreal. So this is the L'Oreal Paris Skin Tint as well. So I have shade one and two. Let's go ahead and keep the shade one and I'll get rid of the shade two with that one. I have this one from CoverGirl up next. This is also that same line, the Simply Ageless. And this one I remember really liking. It's really pretty too. Let's keep it because I haven't kept anything I think from CoverGirl. So I'm going to keep that. This is the new foundation from Juvia's Place. I've been really, really liking this one, the I Am Magic. I'm going to keep this. The shade, I got a few questions on the shade. It is the shade Carol, I think, Carol. It's hard to pronounce, but <laughs> that is the shade I've been using. I've already like used quite a bit because I've been really liking that. So we're going to keep that. Another one I have from Yensa, this is their BC foundation. I prefer the serum next to this one, but I do still really like this one. So I'm going to keep it just to have it as well, but I do like the other one a tint better. From NARS, I have here their tinted moisturizer. This is the pure tinted moisturizer. I like this one, but it's not an absolute favorite for me. So let's actually keep the shade light three. I'm going to get rid of the shade light one. I am going to keep this one from ColourPop. This is their pretty fresh foundation since I got rid of the other foundation from them. We have the Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal. I'm going to keep this. I really like wearing this underneath my makeup in the summertime. I wear it more as like a, almost more as like a primer, but we'll keep it with my foundations. This one from Makeup Forever, I did like. I feel like a lot of people loved this one. 
and I didn't love it, but I did like it. So I feel like I'm gonna keep it. Uh, what the heck? And then let's see what else. This is really nice from um, Revlon. I don't know if you guys have tried this one or not, but this is the natural finish foundation. So again, it comes in two different finishes. We have the matte and then we have a natural finish. So I actually prefer the natural one a little bit to the matte, but I will say the matte is also very pretty and they're both very long wearing. So I am going to keep both of them because I do like them and I feel like they're nice to have on hand too, to have the two to compare. So I'm going to keep those. And then let's see what else we have from number seven. This is their Lift and Illuminate Foundation. I really like this one. I think it's pretty on the skin, but I've had this for so long. It's got to be expired. Okay, 2021. So yeah, it is definitely, definitely expired. So let's get rid of that. This one from Maybelline. I feel like, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. This is the Green Edition Super Drop Tinted Foundation. Um, I can't remember my thoughts, but I feel like I kept enough Maybelline to be able to get rid of that one. I see another one here from Pure. This is the 4-in-1 Selfie. I'm going to get rid of that as well. And then a few from Catrice. This is their HD Coverage Foundation. I know this one is the older version of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And this is the newish version. This one has niacinamide now, which is nice. So I'm going to keep the new one. And then let's see what else we have from NYX. I have their Total Control Drops. I used to keep these around to add to the foundation if it was like too deep for me. But again, I feel like I never mix foundations anymore because I have so many to choose from. I don't need to do that. So let's get rid of that. And then I actually have the original version of that as well. This is the drop foundation. I'm gonna keep just to have because I don't have a lot from the brands. It's a nice foundation. It's not anything that I like go crazy for, but it's okay. And then let's see what else we have. One from Maybelline again. This is their BB Fresh um, Tinted Perfector. Uh, let's actually, let's declutter that. I don't know that I need this in my collection. So get rid of that. From CoverGirl, I loved this one last summer. I used it a bunch. This is their Skin skin milk <laughs> foundation i feel like i've talked about this one several times but after i purchased it myself the one i didn't get in pr i loved it i hated the one i got in pr i feel like it pilled on my skin it looked awful but then i got it at the drugstore to try it again and it looks great and i love it so this is both 530 i'm gonna keep them both because i did use this a lot this one's actually almost empty too this one from flower beauty is nice as well this is the light illusion so i'm gonna keep that one i know i kept the other foundation from her as well let's see we have this one from koki i forgot about this one i really liked this when this came out um i will have to reach for this this is the skin perfect hd foundation i haven't reached for it in a while but i'm gonna put that up front so i can use it this one from essence is almost gone like this is like barely any there i have to just throw this up in my makeup bag so i can use it up but love this foundation this is the shade 60 neutral or natural honey this is great like highly highly recommend this it looks beautiful on the skin very high Hydrating. It also has this nice just like second skin look to it where it feels like you have nothing on your skin So so nice. So I'm gonna keep that one and then I didn't realize I had a few other shades of the rare beauty um, I'm gonna throw this in the keep for now and I'll look it over with the other shade and see if I want to get rid of it or not but For now, I'm gonna keep it. The other one is like buried <laughs> in my pile over there This one is pretty too from Revlon again. This one is the light coverage foundation I do remember really liking this one. I have 110 ivory this is the Estee Lauder double wear who remembers this foundation I feel like I've had this a while the shade I have is warm vanilla uh I feel like I want to keep this just to have on hand but I feel like it's pretty old I'm gonna get rid of it actually I'm gonna get rid of that it's pretty old I feel like there's no reason to keep it when it is probably expired let's do bare minerals up next we have their foundation this is the original liquid mineral and I have two different shades. So I have the shade Ivory 2 and also the shade Light 8. So I remember really liking this. I think it's beautiful on the skin, but I haven't reached for it. So I don't think I need to keep two shades. Let's do the shade Light 8. I'll keep, I'll get rid of the Ivory shade. And then I have a few here from Smashbox. This is their Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation. And let's go ahead and just keep one of these. So 2.1 or 2.15. Let's get rid of the 2.1. I'll keep this one. I got this little sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter because I wanted to try this foundation. I still have never tried this. Let me put this upstairs in my makeup bag and see if I'll give that one a try next. And then I have two different ones from Huda. These are her stick foundation, which I do really like. I think it looks pretty on the skin. I have the shade Chai and then also the shade Shortbread. I'm going to keep both of these because I know Chai worked for me last summer. 
and shortbread is my winter shade in Huda's. So we'll keep those. We've just got a couple left here, which is very exciting. From Fenty, I have her um, hydrating foundation. I don't think she even makes this anymore. It's the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation, but um, I do remember liking it. I haven't used it in a while, but I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it so I'll use it up. And then let's see, we just have three left. Oh, this isn't even a foundation. This is a Born This Way. So I need to put that in my concealer drawer. And then just these two are left. I really like this one from Sharon C. This is the In Real Life Foundation. You can get this at Walmart. Highly recommend, very natural, very beautiful on the skin. So we'll keep that. And then I'm gonna also keep this one here from Thrive Cosmetics. This is their Buildable Blur CC Cream. I haven't even got to try this one yet, but it has been on top of my list to try. So I wanna put this at the top to give it a go. So. Okay, we have a clean mat. So let's go ahead and add up the foundations and see how I did. All right, my camera ended up dying, so I have to do the count here on my phone. But these are all the foundations I ended up keeping. This is 87 foundations, you guys. I by no means have never said that I'm going to have a minimalistic collection. It's just not feasible for my makeup preferences. Personally, I love having multiple foundations to choose from. I love having a lot from each brand. I admire the people that keep small collections, but it's just not going to be me. It's probably never going to be me. So this is what I'm keeping. Let's go ahead and see now what I've decluttered. Okay, and then here are all of my declutter foundations. This ended up being 54, which I'm pretty happy with. I know that it's not as many as I'm keeping, but 54 foundations is still a lot to get rid of. So I'm excited to rehome these to some people. Like I said, some of these definitely need to be trashed, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this declutter. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see the remainder of my collection, please also let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you as always for watching. And I'll see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye friends.